Brenda Gunderson here to share a final wrap-up video for our winter 2020 term. We did it! Stats 250 Winter 20 is coming to a close. It has been a very interesting semester indeed. There were many nights when I woke up in the middle of the night and I couldn't get back to sleep. I was physically tired, my brain was restless, I would end up just lying there thinking and worrying about what's going on. Well, I had one of those nights last Wednesday night, the night before your final exam. And then I had one of those nights again on Thursday night, the night of our final exam. I tossed and turned. I kept checking if emails were coming in at all. And there was one email that came in my inbox at 3.16 a.m. I subscribed to a daily reflection called Encouragement for Today. And the title was very applicable, Receiving Rest. It reminded me that worrying doesn't really help and that I can't control everything. Later that same morning, last Friday morning, I received an email that had an article attached and the title of that article was Advice for the Worried. The article talked about the importance of assessing our emotions, talking about what we're going through, and practicing activities that are restorative and relaxing, especially before bedtime, which I wasn't doing very well at. And then finally, a friend shared a post that morning that was very fitting for this semester. Sometimes you have to let go of what that picture was that you thought your life would be like and learn to find joy in the story that you're living. We found joy in reviewing your final exam responses this past weekend. So let's take a look at a summary of those final exam scores. The distribution is very skewed. Skewed which way? Skewed to the left. Just as we said it would be back in the earlier lectures of chapter one. The final exam solutions as well as your score are now available on coursework. We invite you to take a few minutes to look them over. And the Canvas announcement will include a link to a Google form if you wish to submit a review request. You will have up to Friday, May 1st at 8 a.m. to do so. With the final exam completed, let's do a quick review of how your final exam or final course grades were computed. We did have some extra credit opportunities for you that counted towards homework, um, MRIC, and prelapse. Remember on the homework, we were going to have 11, but we said we had 10 homeworks, and we dropped the lowest three homework scores, not just two. And then we did add in an additional method that we used for weighting of the different exams for using to work out your final course grade. So all of these methods were used for you, and we used the one that gave you the highest percentage. That percentage was taken to our fixed scale that's been on our syllabus since day one. So here is a final summary of those final course grades. The breakdown of percent earning A's, B's, C's, D's, and E's. Now these grades have been released and approved on Wolverine Access, so you should be seeing them fairly soon today in your transcript to be able to view. And then for a final video of the day, when we were in person for lectures and had eye clickers in our lectures, my incentive for my students to try to get 100% on an eye clicker question was that I would do a cartwheel at the end of that class. And I've done quite a few cartwheels over my many years of teaching at U of M. So as this is my final winter semester of teaching, I thought I would share with you a cartwheel. As a final congrats and a thank you for your patience and your hard work throughout this term. <laughs> so there you go. Thank you for working with us. Thank you for growing with us. Thank you 
on behalf of our entire STATS 250 instructional team. Every member of that team was vital in keeping this course going throughout the term. May we all continue to learn to find joy in the story that we are living. Stay safe and go blue.